Hey guys, so right now I have on my Violet Voss lashes and I just finished filming myself putting them, taking them all off and putting them all on and film this makeup look for you guys. I'm loving it. A whole new face of first impressions. And these are in the style um, sexy and I know it. But to continue my first impressions, I wanted to swatch all of these Milani palettes that I showed you. I already swatched the lip glosses, but um, this is the one that I used in my eye look today. And I'm going to start with just the first three here. And this, um, I did use actually all three of these shades in this look today. But um, the brown did take just a little bit of time, or not time, a little bit of building to show up. I don't really know where I want to swatch these for you. I'm like the worst. I think I'll do it this way. Okay, I'm just going to start here on the back of my hand. I'm going to grab them that way. I don't know if you guys can see that really shiny shade there, the brown, and then the orange. And then I'm going to do these three shades, which include, I think, all like satiny shimmers. But yeah, here's what those look like on my fingers. Ooh, so pretty. I have that one as my definer shade right now, actually. And I'm going to take these three. I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, this shade right here, that's going to take some building especially because it pretty much blends in with my skin tone like I mean you can't tell but I mean it showed up it's just not going to show up on my hand but you can see there's the lighter brown there's the darker brown that I used as the definer um and here's that last pearly shade the top shiny shade is way more yellow like gold this is more tan shimmer if that makes any sense, like almost a light peach shimmer. But that's the swatches for the first palette, the one that I used for my eye makeup look. And I mean, see, they're taking some lump to take off. I mean, once you get them, they are fairly pigmented. Like, I don't know, just the lighter shades were the ones that I was more concerned with. And that was the 05 Earthly Elements palette. Just to remind you all, there's six total, I got four. Next, oh my gosh, I'm so excited about this. And it's the 04 Plum Basics, again. I'm just going to open this for you. I did like how they had a mix of finishes. I wish they had had a true um, matte dark brown in that last palette that I just did. Because when I was doing my eye look, I was like... Man, I could kill for a dark brown right now because I used it here on the outer part. Like, as you guys saw, I used that one brown, but I got lipstick on my teeth. But anyway, um, I used that one brown, but I was, like, killing for a dark brown. Like, if I could have had a dark brown at that moment, it would have been nice. And you guys saw that in this eye look, I did use this brush. Um, I'm really pleased with the crease brush. It actually gave me quite a bit of precision for the orange and for the brown shades the shader brush was kind of mm, i mean it's a little dense for my liking like i like the thin ones then they're small a little smaller than this too like width wise that way i can really have control like to make almost a cut crease since i have hooded eyes i like to put my lid color up a little higher than i probably should but i don't know i mean it, it's really good for drugstore quality and if you don't have a thicker shader brush like this like i don't think i do because they're not really my favorite to use um I think I have maybe one. It's nice to have on hand. Like, if I were traveling with this, I wouldn't mind using this brush at all. So, to continue, we're going to go and swatch these puppies. Oh, that pink. I have such high hopes for that pink. Don't let me down. I'm, like, just as anxious as you all for these swatches. So, anyway, the first three. I just kind of went everywhere with that. Taking the bottom of the palette. And then I'm going to flip my wrist over here. And I'm going to do... Ooh, that pink. Oh, that pink. That pink most definitely lived up to my expectations. I'm going to re-swatch the white. 
or it's more like a cream, my bad. But yeah, that's those three shades. I wanted to focus on these three shades, please. There's the cream at the top, if you can see that. The brown um, may require some blending, but I mean, it's a nice matte, taupey color brown, but then this. This would be a good transition shade. Good brow bone highlight, inner corner, possibly even if you want a matte inner corner, but all of that. I want to use that in a cut crease. I'm so glad that one lived up to my expectations. One swipe, people. And for some reason, I've noticed, or at least for me, pinks are notoriously difficult to get good pigmentation with. And I don't know why, but they are. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and lather this on my fingers. <laughs> I don't know what kind of accent I was trying for there. And then I'm gonna go right below the pink here. And I'm just gonna drag. Okay, a little bit crooked and that lilac. Ugh. I don't know how I feel about that lilac one. I mean, if I really press it on there, that's more of like an inner corner highlight, guys. Really chunky glitter. But that purple, that purple is gorgeous. That is the bright satiny purple. And let me, I want to get a little bit more down here to really see. That is like a brownie purple. More on the brown side than what I was hoping. I was hoping it would be more of a, a, um, like a purpley brown. More of a darker mauve, but it's not. I mean, it'll work, but I was kind of hoping to mimic that one shade out of the Tarte palette that I don't know the name of, but it's like the perfect dark plum brown. I mean, it's still pretty, but I have to see what it does on the eye. I, I, mean, I mean, I got that really nice pink right there, that really nice satiny purple, so I'm not disappointed. But that middle shade, oh my gosh, guys, such chunky glitter, and the texture was different. Like, I'm touching all of these satin and matte finishes, and they're super buttery. Like, you can just tell, like, when I use them. Here's this palette before I go ahead and take it off while I talk. The bone, the medium transition color, bright pink, bright purple, really crappy glitter shade, and dark brown. <laughs> Sorry to call it crappy, but that's just... I don't know, I expected, even though it had the glitter in it, for it to be smooth, like the rest of the shades have been so far, and it wasn't. It was really dry. That was, like, super dry. Like, the others were really buttery and smooth. That was super dry, gritty. The glitter made it super gritty, just, just, no. Like, maybe if you wet your brush and pack it on, you could do something with it. Like, maybe as, like, a halo eye, but... Honestly, I wouldn't want that all over my lid. I'd be worried it'd fall out all day, too. Like, that's just how bad that, that shade was. I mean, this is a really pretty palette. I love these three shades. These three shades right here, Mama Loves. And this one's nice, too. That one was a no. And that one's a slight disappointment. It's still pretty, but that one just, ugh, X that one out. Don't use that one. <laughs> I mean, if you can find a way to use it where it doesn't, like... Maybe it was just a shock. Like, I was touching all those smooth shadows, and then all of a sudden, that's what it felt like. It felt like, like sandpaper. I was touching sandpaper. That's what it was. That's exactly what it was right there. Sandpaper with horrible glitter fallout. Yep. So, yeah, that's why I didn't like that one. I'm going to go with the Smoky Palette next, guys. Just to give you all some swatches. I did talk about these a little earlier, so I get the feeling I should shut up. I mean, hey, you know, it's my video, so there's that. Start with these three shades. I have a feeling this one's going to be similar to the transition shade in the last palette. Excited about this one. I'm really, I'm excited about a lot of these. But that black has a lot of potential, too, so, yeah. I'm just going to take the first three shades here. Ooh, look at that. I took way too much of that. <laughs> like, I kind of destroyed my little palette. I don't know if you can tell. I made a run in it, but... That's what I mean by buttery. That was so soft, like, I barely touched it and got a whole half finger covered in blue. I'm a little worried about that ebony shade again. But yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and swatch these. Um, they look gorgeous on the fingers. I'm excited. Sorry, guys, my memory card was full and I didn't know it, so I had to scramble to find another one. Um, here are those first three swatches. 
No, you can't even see the top one, but it's there, I promise. It's like a light. I'll go ahead and race and watch it, but it's... There we go. See, like a light bone cream. And then there's these two, which are a taupey brown and the really shiny slate color, which both paid off really well. I'm afraid my camera's going to die again, so I may have to rush through these next three. But here's the next three. The cobalt blue, the black, and the silvery looking shade. Went ahead and picked those up. They all three look super pigmented on my fingers, so pretty. Oh wow, that's pretty. It does remind me of the Bella Como. Silver is nice. It's not like, bam, silver, but it's a nice. Okay, so, in case my other clips are ruined, I'm not sure. I'm going to have to salvage them. I have swatched this palette from this way to like that way. Down and up. Ending with the black shade. But yeah, starting at the top. Like I said earlier, these three here have much more pigment pigment in the first three shades in the other palettes, especially this one. I'm super impressed with that. This one's beautiful, beautiful, uh, like a matte taupe, beautiful, like shiny, cool gray taupe. And this one actually came out looking more gray than I thought it would based on the pan. And then here's that shiny pink. I said it was a pink. Now that I look at it in the light and I look at the swatch, it's definitely a peach, not a pink. So it's different from the other pinks like this one. So it was definitely worth buying this palette. If nothing else, just to have all the different variations of the really shimmery pigmented pinky purples. And then, of course, the black looks about the same as the other black. But that is the last palette. I really hope my swatches didn't get lost. If they did, oh well. If they didn't, then you've already seen what I'm talking about. I said I was going to swatch the Violet Boss glitter as well. I really wanted to, guys. I really did. But I think I own like eight. And this video is already getting kind of long. I'm actually wondering what I'm going to have to cut from this video. Considering I've got the eyelashes, that's going to be a separate video. But just to let you know, these are wearing pretty well. This is the third pair that I tried on in the last video. Um, I think I'm going to have to trim these just a little on the inner part because they're a bit long for my small eyes. But I'm not going to have to trim the other two pairs at all. And I thought I would like these the best. I happen to end with the ones that are like the Demi Wispies. I do like them a lot. But to be honest, I love the other two so much more. And I can say based on my first impressions for these included in this look right now, which is all pretty much first impressions. Um, the lash band on these is phenomenal. It like bends to fit your eye, but yet it's still, still somewhat, not really firm, but thick. And I think the thickness, like, I didn't have to apply a whole lot of eyeliner to hide my mistakes. Of course, I made mistakes with the lash glue you all will see or have seen already. Based on which video I upload first. <laughs> and if you've watched it, which I'll link, I'll link these two videos together, you know, regardless. But... All three pairs are gorgeous. I love all three pairs. I actually like these the least of the others. other two. I think my favorite was the second pair. I'll make sure to narrate in the last video. I think it was the second pair that was my favorite. This Milani gloss that I got for 58 cents is holding up really well over this liquid lipstick. This is the final look, guys. And I'm, I'm actually really happy with it. I'm so glad that I splurged on these lashes. You have no idea. I will probably be buying these again, and I'm hoping to get a good, I mean, if I, rem if I remember, I'll eventually let you know how many of the average wears I get out of these. I'm hoping to get at least 15, right? I mean, not including this, 15 is not too much to ask, I don't think, especially for what I paid. I hope they at least last 15, but yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> I feel like I'm like being really conceited about myself, but yeah, that's the combo of these two videos. I hope you guys liked everything and enjoyed the first impressions. Let me know your thoughts, comments, concerns, um, and what you guys think of if you have these products or these lashes, and let me know. And I will upload that glitter video for you guys. I'll try to make it my next video, or at least soon. And I love you all. You're awesome. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.